fencing and equipment out because we want to show everybody kind of what we're talking about as far as fencing. If you should show them the end right there, first thing you can see, the end is very blunt. You can put it in the camera so they can see how close it is. You can see it's very blunt. It's got a blunt punger on the end of it. And the reason that is because we don't want anybody to get hurt. That's the big thing is we want to make sure everybody's safe. So being safe, safety first, we're going to talk a little bit about fencing because one just, of the things we like to do is have fighting as a hobby. This is just practice, you guys. Oh, hello. Fight up in here. I don't even have a time here, you guys. See? Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> well, anywho, this is a uh, blunt. See? Okay. Yeah. So we got the blunt one. We're going to stand right there. Okay. We're not going to go real fast at first, and then we're going to speed it up as we go. But first thing we're going to talk about is basically moving. We're so far away. away. We're so far away. And one thing with fencing, it's about movement, and that way it's good exercise for you. When you want to fence, you want to get in a position, you know, basically 45 degree angle. You want to make sure you stand 45 yeah. degree angle with your angles, your body, just lean back yeah. one leg. Please don't try this at home if you are if you don't have a proper training. Or tools. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have swords, don't run around broomsticks poking each other. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it can be very fast, so we're going to come forward. Our stepping maneuvers are basically stepping forward or stepping backwards. It might look very boring, but it can be very quick. So step forward, step forward, step back, step back, step yes. forward. My steps, I just messed step up my forward, two steps. <laughs> step back, step back, step back, step forward, step forward, step forward. Step back, step back, step back. Step forward, step back, step forward, step back, step forward, step forward, step back. Now you can see it goes very quick. You gotta be able to change your feet uh, rapidly as you go because if you've ever watched it in any of the competitions, they go very fast at each other. So we're going very slow today, but just wanted to show you guys kind of how your feet should be and the move. You always want to step first, heel to toe, and when you're going backwards, you always want to step with that back force, force and drag your front foot back with you. So that way you are always got that balance point is either your front or back foot, whether you're going forward or backwards. So with fencing, like she said, we're very safe here. We have our epee, which has our plunger on the end, so it's a very safe weapon. Um, there are three different types of weapons that you have. Uh, we don't have a foil here, those are the smaller ones, and the foil, your target area is somebody's chest area, basically. So that's where you're aiming with the foil. What my wife has here, she has what's called an epee. An epee is like a rapier from long ago, and the rapier basically is designed to uh, poke your target wherever. So there's no limit on where you can poke them, in the foot, in the uh, arm, in the hand, on the head. The plunger, um, the way these are designed, it's got an electrical cord that goes down them, and once you hit the plunger, that basically is going to send a signal to the scoreboard, and that's how you're going to score your target. So, in, it in Italian, they would start with pronte, is to say get ready, and then before you fight, they say, when they want you to fight, they say alle. So, pronte is any position, alle. And then we step forward, step forward, step forward. Step back, step back, step back. My wife's shorter than me, so when I come forward, <laughs> too far forward, I'm going to chop my head off. <laughs> my head's sure. not gone. It's still there. My head is still there. But just make sure you know that his head's still there because he's you here talking, but there's it's chopped off because I'm moving towards the camera. But with that, now we're going to talk about the positions of the sword itself. The very first one is number one. Number one is a prime position. Basically, you're gonna bring it right up here, okay? That's number one. And that's for, if somebody's coming at you with a sword, and we'll turn around here to see where you're at. What I'm gonna have to do is I'll have my wife uh, take a poke at me, okay? So, she's coming, and she's gonna poke in with her sword. We're too, we're too close, we're too close. Yeah, she's gonna poke in with the sword, but don't go slow, go slow. She comes in with the sword, no. She comes in with the sword, Go ahead and come all the way through. Mm -hmm. Come all the way through. That's number one. Basically, I'm blocking her away from my body. That's what that is. So, so my wife likes to go fast. She's... 
<laughs> that's not how we're supposed to be fighting. Right? No, that's not how that's we're the supposed first, to be. That's the first thing people want to do. As soon as they get started, they want to pick it up and start swinging them around. But anyway, that's number one. So position number one is going to be like that. Okay. Position number two, we're going to come back, okay, here to the upward position. Okay, the other, or actually, uh, position two is going to be down. So basically, you come here, come down. Position three is going to be right here, up. Position four is going to be right here to this side. And you're always blocking out, if you can imagine an invisible square that you're blocking out around yourself, keeping everybody from all the sword blades from coming in the center, you want to keep them on the outside. And then position five is right there, a little further out, but still up. And then position six, we're coming back over here to the side, a little bit harder angle. Position seven is back here again, closer into the body and for a tighter maneuver if somebody's coming in close at you. And then we have position eight and then position nine. We're not going to go into those. We'll just stop with seven because these are a little more advanced techniques, but um, you've got it down. Basically, total of eight positions, and it's all around, based around the concept of keeping yourself off your target. I know you guys are probably wondering, who, who's this guy? Why is he telling me about fencing? Um, actually, I started when I was very young in Indiana University. I, went, I was on the fencing team there, and then I also, when I went to Italy when I was in the military, I fenced for a whole year while I was there. That was our hobby. We'd go off base and fence with the Italians. So, a uh, little bit of experience of it, but it's been a long time. Did a couple of competitions when I was in the military, but other than that, it has been a long time. But um, those are the positions for fighting. So with that, we're going to practice a little bit. In practice, we always want to make sure we practice our lunges. Footwork is actually more important. It's just like boxing. You know, boxing, boxers, if you want to get ready for a fight, if you, what you should do for every minute that you expect to be doing some heavy activity, you need to do probably like a half an hour to an hour's worth of work for that, for every one minute that you expect to be involved in something. So hopefully every, nobody ever gets in a fight, trying to stay out of fights. It's a bad thing, you always get in trouble or something goes wrong. But you still need to be physically fit. Say for instance, you don't want to fight and you need to run from somebody. So therefore, that's why cardio is a big portion of uh, fencing, because you gotta have your footwork ready. But basically step forward, one, two, Step forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, and lunge. Back, 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 forward, forward, and lunge. Back, 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 forward, forward, and lunge. Now you can actually extend your lunge if you go a little bit uh, faster. Uh, basically if you, and we're not gonna do it here because I've actually involved leaping a little bit, but basically you can just basically take a large step and then go into lunge. Where basically you would start off with a, into the lunge. But we're not gonna do too much of that because we don't wanna, we're here in the house so we don't wanna rough house it. We're way too far from our camera. In the gym, we do it sometimes, but you know, we don't do that all the time here now. So, <laughs> and today we just had to, we wanted to get uh, this put together, so we're doing it out here. But remember, also remember too, if you're left handed, you actually have an advantage in fencing. Because if we're fencing against each other, and we're both, if I'm, say for instance, I'm right handed, no, go back to your right hand. Go back to your right hand. If she's right-handed and she's coming at me to fence me, and I'm also, if I'm fighting left-handed, for her to attack, she's got to come around me yeah. to get to me because we're on the same side. We're basically same foot position. You know, we're just opposite ends. So when I, when you see when I turn around to the right side, you can see how we're more squared off on each other. But when you're left-handed. You make it very hard on people who are uh, who are right-handed. Because I fenced somebody who was left-handed once and they kicked my butt. <laughs> no. this that was is before I learned to fight with my left hand. <laughs> yeah. This is a different thing. Um, 
we have also a Sai. A Sai is different, um, different tactics of fighting, but this one I love fencing. First and foremost, I love fencing. I think it's very, um, you have to be, you know, well, the, the difference quick in thinking. If you, if you think about fencing and you think about sword fighting, it actually, fencing makes a lot more sense. Yeah, you have your side too, you, right? Yeah, but fencing makes more sense because yeah. if you remember a long time ago, they used the big heavy swords, and a, a fencing sword is very thin, and the reason yeah. that swords got narrower is because they're lighter. So this, call, this weighs like about a pound and a half, maybe. Maybe a pound. But it's got a very sharp point, so therefore, just like... Um, Anything you can puncture the real one is somebody. sharp, sharp. Yeah, point. the real one would be a sharp yeah. point. But the key this is thing a practice. Is that, the key thing is that you can puncture um, your target or opponent. Um, so the same thing, pretty much as um, anything else. But Long. it's a lot lighter though, very light. If I had to run around in the zombie apocalypse, I'm bringing my saber because <laughs> <laughs> it's light. <laughs> but anyway, like you said, lunge. You're coming out there, lunge. Ah. You're coming out there, lunge. Ah. Lunge. Ah. Lunge. Ah. And once you get uh, good at fencing or you've been practicing for a while, you can actually kind of get a little bit more animated with it. Um, I mean, it's you still want to stay maintain the same form, but you can even get in low if you need to. You don't have to stay, like stand up, you know, waiting for it to be attacked. You can get in low. And kind of like mold your body to however your opponent happens to be fighting. So that's what you have to look for. Lunge. Lunge. Yeah. Lunge. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to basically we're going to turn at this angle so you kind of see my wife's movements. And she's going to lunge at me and I'm going to block basically the lunges. So it's going to be kind of one sided. I don't think we can see. Okay, let me see from there. Okay, so you lunge at me. I was just keeping that side. Okay, come in. Lunge. 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 I'm sure that's not. You're in the middle. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. You know, I gotta, I gotta aim lower because you're shorter than me. Yeah. Come on, do it again. So. Come on, do it again. No, shoot it again. So since she's shorter, see how I lower my stance. Okay? Okay, lunge. 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 That's us fifty. My wife is very fast though, you gotta watch her. <laughs> well, okay. So this, like I said, if there is you know, if you oh, guys show the helmet. if you guys if you guys like to you show the helmet. If you guys like uh, fencing, you go find Fencing class near you, nearby. It's um, it's a really good exercise, and you can broaden your fighting techniques. And most of all, it's for exercise. Keep yourself yeah. physically fit. This is the helmet, you guys. That's the helmet that we uh, we use mm -hmm. for um. Uh, when we do a oh, real, to protect your face. Yeah, when we do really like a fighting, and we have also gloves. We have you have to use gloves, and we have the gear. Um, we don't have it right now. The gear is uh, upstairs, but right now we're just showing you guys. Mine's too small now. Yeah, right. We're just showing you guys that's like what we do when my husband gets off from work, when I'm gets off from work. We get off from work, 
this is what we do. So we have, like, we don't go to the gym because, you know, what's going on right now. So we just um, exercise here at home. <laughs> so, but like I said, you guys, fencing is different than Sai. The Sai have a very, very different techniques as well. But if you know both, it's really good. Um, you can explain the side if you want. So I can show you guys the, uh, the side the next time. So yeah, next time. Well, thank you guys uh, for being patient with us. We uh, we're going to continue our uh, exercise. So if you wanna practice. Yeah, exercise practice, but so like I said, for every minute you have to go at least like an hour. Yeah, that's what you have to do. So, so if you want to exercise and get in shape, always try and add that. Don't forget, you guys, to subscribe, and thank you guys to all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Hey, clinging to time, Mayan Pinay. Rising Kid Life, Alma Bearman, and Charlie's, Charlie, you guys, Charlie's vlog, Charlie's life. He's an OFW with my nephew up there. Uh, you guys stay safe and please subscribe to these people. We want your love. Show us some love. Come on. So if you visit our, if you visit our a. Um, channel don't forget to like and subscribe but if you already subscribe to my channel don't forget to like so otherwise i'm going to rip you with my hair <laughs> okay so bye guys because we're going to practice more